Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and in this video, I'm gonna just walk you through some cleanup doing that I'm <clears throat> some cleanup that I'm doing on a land title survey that we're working on up in the Sierra Nevada foothills. So uh, my cat ninja did a good job, but it, it needs some more work. So I wanted to record these videos for her so she could just kind of see the process that I'm going through, and I, I thought there'd be some good stuff in here for for some of you guys as well. So. Uh, I'm rocking my white t-shirt tonight because it's Friday, it's 6.40 in the evening, my air conditioner is broke, and I live in Stockton, California, so it's about 85 degrees in my house, so please don't judge. I will get a new air conditioner, but I don't know how long it's going to be because it costs $8,000. So, Alright, enough, enough of my sad story, let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. So, let me show you guys what we got going on here. So this is the sheet, the first sheet of the land title survey here. I'm in Bricks CAD version 21. <coughs> and uh, you can see we've got the we've got the boundaries of the of the land title survey here. Uh, but you can see uh, I've got some those are just uh, broken links to the UAV ortho tiles. I don't have them on this computer. We keep those on our local drive, so just ignore those. But what I want to do is is just fill in around the edges here. And then add, add some annotations, some road names, uh, and the parcel labels and some stuff like that. So I went ahead and, and made a drawing for that purpose. Um, and it's, uh, it's called LTS Anno 40. Okay, so this is our annotation drawing at, at the 40 scale. LTS stands for Land Title Survey. And I, I went ahead and put my, this is what we call our viewport footprint. So I put that in paper space so I know how far to go with my line work. And I can keep my labels from prevent my labels from overlapping that boundary there. And you can see I went ahead and, and I, I started adding some street names. So we got Foot Street down here. I think that's kind of cool because I'm a land surveyor even though they added an E to it. <laughs> We've got Back Street, uh, as in the Back Street Boys. That's Back Street. And uh, we got Main Street over here. It's also Highway 120. And uh, this is actually not a road. This is actually a gap. It's a, it's a gap in the, in the deeds uh, that we're showing there. So I'm not going to label that. <clears throat> so uh, I think what I want to do next is I want to go ahead and add some line work just around the periphery here so people can kind of get oriented we're going to add the parcel boundaries and so uh, I can just kind of sketch that in off the appraisers map but just to make things easy for me uh, I'm going to go open our what we call our boundary search drawing which usually has our record line work in it okay because I want to steal some stuff out of here so I'm going to go ahead and steal this, and I'm going to, oh, that's actually my parcel. What do I want to steal here? I'm going to steal this. You can see we got multiple lines there, uh, which I don't really care about for what I'm doing. And we're going to put this line in, and we're going to get this other line, the back street in here. Grab some of that, <clears throat> and then uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab these other lines here along the highway. I think that's that's a pretty good start. So <clears throat> now I don't want to put those in my anno drawing. So they're actually gonna go in my line work drawing. So let's go ahead and open that. Now you got to be very careful when you do this because we we want to make sure we make a, a distinction between lines that are surveyed and lines that are not surveyed. So I'm going to just go ahead and paste those in. And uh, we have a layer that we use for that. So we're going to open that up. Make, we're going to open our layer dialog here and make sure that it's in here. Okay, and I don't think it is. So we're going to make a new layer. And we're going to call it survey. Oh, I'm sorry. We call it GIS lines parcels. Okay. Oh, it is in there. It's already in there. My bad. So, yeah, it's right here. Okay, so that's what I needed to know. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab these lines. And uh, we're going to put them on that layer. Okay, and I'm just going to use the, the properties dialog to do that. Okay, so then you know we got some cleanup to do here, right? Because we got some 
these are lines coming off of different record maps and they don't all line up and like this is GIS man so we get, we get to just come we get to just come in here and you know we don't got to be super nervous about what we're doing here because it's just a visual aid right okay so I think I'm pretty happy with that okay so we're gonna save that oh you know what before we save it we're gonna run a purge because I got some junk layers when I inserted those uh, when I inserted those layers so we're just gonna purge it okay now I, I feel like I might need a, a, some more line work um, so uh, I know I've got a, I got a, a road here and a parcel so you know what since I know what I got there well let's let's just let's update this real quick okay so now if I, I if I go into my anno drawing I can uh, reload that xref and you can see now, now I'm getting some of that other other line work right. And so uh, we're just going to extend this out a little farther. And uh, so I know there's a road here, so I'd like to put in this road and this parcel. So I got I got some stuff here that we want to steal, kind of off the tax assessor's data. So uh, let's go see if my folks got the tax assessor map. I'm sure they did. Um, it, and if I remember right, it's ancient and kind of hard to read. So we got two maps. I'm not sure which one we need, so we'll find out here. All right. So this is us. So this is going to have a lot of the information we need. Uh, we're just going to rotate this around. Okay. So you can see we got a 50-foot road here, 50-foot rider. Right it's actually a private road now. Um, so we're just going to kind of sketch in some of what we need here. So I'm going to pull this over. You guys won't be able to see it, but that's all right. So um, we're going to go back into our line work drawing. Okay. So. I know I got a 50 foot road that comes along here like this and uh, for what I'm doing I'm gonna just extend this line out okay. and uh, let's get this on the right layer sorry you can hear my wife laughing in the background there she's talking to one of her friends <laughs> she's got that evil cackle of a laugh <laughs> but I love her all right okay now in something like this what actually what I want to do is uh, I want to trim out that middle piece there okay I don't want it to overlap okay and then uh, we've got a we got a 50 foot road so I'm gonna go ahead 50 foot right away so I'm gonna extend that and uh, we're just gonna drop this in over here Okay, so now I've got that, that road kind of laying in there. And uh, so on this parcel right here, we actually uh, we kick over a little ways. Um, we actually have some distances, which is kind of nice. So we kind of kick over, uh, kick over like this. And that's actually 46 feet. Uh, like I said, I don't have to be super exact here because this is just kind of a visual aid. Okay, so that'll give us uh, that'll give us those other lines there, and then you know occasionally you got to save this uh, update because you don't want to draw a bunch of line work that you don't need. So let's just see where we're at. So I need a, I need a little more. I don't need a whole bunch, but I need a little. And so you know just to make life easy on us, let's just copy this viewprint here viewport footprint, and uh, we're gonna just drop it temporarily into here so we know how much how much we got to do here to get to the edge. Um, all right, and so then after that, this line just kind of runs off the edge here and kind of does the same thing here. We can just extend this down, it looks like. Uh, that's going to be good enough for what we're doing. Uh, now this road up here looks like it does jog in a little bit. So let me just kind of fake that in a little. Okay. And then uh, what I need to do is I need to make my GIS layer current so I don't have to keep using my match properties. So that looks something like that. Then we can just trim this out. Okay, and we've got, we got multiple parcels coming down here. So I'm going to just sketch those in. And BricsCAD has that cool kind of 90 degrees or extension inference, which is which is nice. Okay, so we got that parcel. And then somewhere in here we have another parcel. Kind of comes in like that. 
that. And then we got one that kind of comes across the street here. I don't know that it's exactly perpendicular, but from here, but it's close. Okay, and then we got another one uh, that comes in here. Right, and then we got 110 feet basically down this line. Sorry guys. So sometimes you have sometimes your line work's not all flat, so you gotta flatten your line work or your intersection snaps don't work. Alright, there we go. So that comes across like that roughly. And then we got uh, basically 122 feet across the top. So you don't always get nice distances on the assessor plats like this, but in this case we do, it's kind of nice. <laughs> so that gets us that that stuff in. Let's see over here. Um, looks like we got a parcel that comes here, kind of to the out to the road. Pretty close to perpendicular. Yeah, it looks like it might be too steep. Something like that, okay. All right, then we've got the highway, um, and I should be able to get a rough width off here. It's actually pretty narrow. And uh, you know what? I don't. They don't show a width on the assessor's plat. Um, it's a really funky right away. Um, let me open this other assessor plat, guys, and we'll see if that width is on there. So here's the, the highway. You can see it's just got this really irregular right away. <clears throat> so we just got to fake something until we make it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to trace this side of the right away. Okay, and it, it, it's fairly narrow. So I'm going to do a 40 foot offset. Just to extend this line here down. Okay, and believe it or not, this is almost all one big parcel. We've got another parcel we can kind of fake in here, but it's basically one big parcel there. <clears throat> all right, and then uh, let's see. I got to get this one in. I thought that was in my search drawing. Nope, it is not in my search drawing. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna fake this one in. So what it what it looks like is there's a line. Uh, I'm gonna offset this. So we got kind of a gooseneck right here that comes down, and uh, there's a little jog in it, but not much. So let's go perpendicular here. And I think if I remember right, that's a. Uh, foot jog and then uh, this line kind of keeps going on this same bearing so again this isn't survey grade I'm just sketching it in This line here comes over here. Okay. And you could trim these around the edges, but you don't need to. Um, but we will we will get rid of this viewport footprint when we're done. Um, I do want to make sure I've got all these on the right layer. So let's get these on the right layer here. Okay. So um, and then I you know I do have a couple parcels across the street. So we can uh, we can fake those in real quick. So we got one that kind of comes back like this, and then uh, well, we got a 
another one that comes down it's like right pretty close to the driveway here so it comes back and then uh, somewhere down here by the gooseneck there's another kind of comes out like that so that's pretty good there um, and I actually noticed we got another street we can put in here okay so I think we're done with that so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that viewport now and we'll save this okay then let's just jump over here and update this real quick this is a uh, so this is our anno drawing but we want to reload our line work okay so now we've got our missing line work and, and what that allows me to do now is I know I've got a couple more streets in here right uh, so this is Hopper Street And we're going to use the T orient tool if I can find it. I don't see it in there. And we're going to just get these lined up. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball this one because that, that road's a little tough to it's a little tough to figure out exactly where it's at. Okay, <clears throat> and then uh, we got Foot Street down here. Okay, and uh, now that I I can see my line work. Uh, Gonna get back street centered, and we're gonna we're gonna center these labels. Okay, and actually, if you're doing that right, here's how you should do it: you go perpendicular, and then you can drop your node on that midpoint. Uh, so it looks like I'm missing that. I got a gap there in my line work. Let's go fix that real quick. Now this goes like that. So we got our line work in here, and um, we got we've made some adjustments to our street name. You know, I need to do the same thing here on the highway, right? Now that I've got the surrounding line work in, we can, we can center these labels. Okay, so let's uh, let's just take a quick look now at what we got uh, in our sheet drawing. Okay, so we're going to reload this, um, and that gives us the line work. But what we want to do is we want to add that anno drawing too. So let's go ahead and do that. And that is actually in our mapping folder because it's specific to this work product. So here's our 40 scale anno drawing for the land title survey. Okay. All right, so uh, I think this is looking a lot better, only I need to rotate these labels 180 just because of the way we have the street shut. The street, the sheet set up, th those are backwards, this one too. So uh, we'll fix those and uh, I think about the only other thing I want to add, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and add some parcel labels here for our uh, our two parcels, okay? And uh, and then we'll be about done with this viewport. And I think the rest of the sheet looks uh, looks pretty good. Uh, we got a we have got a little bit of cleanup there to do, but okay. So thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. That that was almost a 20 minute video, but I appreciate it. And uh, We'll, uh, we'll do another video and, and we'll get the rest of the sheet cleaned up and we'll get this sheet finished.